What happens when science and religion collide in a courtroom? In 1925, Dayton, Tennessee, became the battleground for one of America's most famous trials, the Scopes Monkey Trial. High school teacher John T. Scopes was charged under the Butler Act for teaching evolution, challenging a law that banned public school teachers from denying biblical creation. The case drew national attention, featuring legendary attorneys Clarence Darrow for the defense and William Jennings Bryan for the prosecution. The trial was a media sensation, with crowds gathering outside and reporters flooding the small town. As the debate raged, the nation watched. Should science or religious doctrine rule the classroom? Before the verdict was announced, many questioned. Would Scopes be found guilty, or would academic freedom prevail? The court eventually found Scopes guilty and fined him $100. The law applied was Tennessee's Butler Act which prohibited teaching evolution in state-funded schools. Tenor Code Ann, VOR 49-6-3001. The verdict sparked nationwide debate, highlighting tensions between science, religion, and education. Do you think schools should decide what science to teach or should laws set the boundaries?